We talked a bit about mouthing last time. Let's do some uh, soft mouth training since we're here on the floor. So, remember, the first step in uh, training your dog how to use their mouth properly, the first step is to establish or train a nice soft mouth. So we don't discourage biting behavior right away. We only want to give feedback to the dog when the bites are hard, harder than usual. So this soft kind of mouthing, this uh, kind of gumming at me, that is all ignored. If he mouths harder, if he bites harder, I will give him a time out, all right? And I'll show you what that looks like. Ouch! Using uh, timeouts or negative punishment in your dog training uh, life might be difficult, and I find that a lot of clients don't have the patience to do it. Uh, but at least you're getting a chance to see what it looks like in case you want to do some experimenting. Because I do use punishment in my training. You're seeing it right now. Uh, good boy. So now he's back out here again. We'll work on some more mouthing stuff. Remember, he's allowed to mouth me. I'm just giving, he's, he's allowed to bite me. He is allowed to bite me. Eventually, I'll teach him that biting me is never appropriate, but right now I want to make sure that he uses his mouth uh, gingerly. I want to make sure he doesn't bite hard when he does bite down, when he does mouth. For considering this our first phase of soft mouth training, I want the dog to learn that it's okay to put your mouth on my hands, but on my hands only. Okay? So if he directs a bite at any other part of my body, I will say, ouch, and I'll stick him in his long-term confinement area. So licking my chin is, uh, that falls under the category of David the Dog Trainer approved behavior. So if this was my pet, uh, I certainly would not discourage um, a little chin lick. <laughs> 